I think it comes to no surprise that I really love Nintendo. I mean, who doesn't, honestly? If I make you sit down and play Mario Galaxy and I hear you once say that you don't like it, then you're not a real person. You're a robot without any emotions. This company has made some of the most fun and memorable experiences in human history that actually make you sit down in awe once you completed them. But for the last few years, they uh, they kind of been sucking balls and pee-pee. I mean, they have always made really weird decisions, which brought them to greatness, but I don't know what's going on anymore. Again, the games they make are always a blast to play, but for some unknown reason, they rip a piece off it, throw doo-doo at it, and then try to tape it back on. Like, that's not how it works. They literally make their product worse. For no reason. Well, the reason is Why really bother? shitty. So in this video, I'm just gonna point out a bunch of stupid stuff that Nintendo has done in the past two years or so. Are they gonna do anything with the criticism I'm gonna give? Probably not, because it's Nintendo and they like to be stuck in their little baby bubble. So let's start off with the simplest thing that Nintendo can't even do right. <laughs> I mean, I understand that this is kind of funny, but uh, this is straight up unacceptable for a $60 game. Mario Maker 2 was released on June 28th in 2019, and one of the big things they pushed in their trailers and commercials was online multiplayer, which I was super stoked for. This was the first ever time that Nintendo has added online multiplayer to a Mario platformer, and it really did sound like a dream come true. This was one of the main reasons I got this game online multiplayer but then they announced that it was only with randoms for some reason and it got backlash then they decided to add online with friends later after launch which was good enough for me I mean I can wait a few months no biggie I still decided to get the game and just try out everything else starting with the campaign and once I completed that I dipped my toes into online and oh boy what a pathetic joke. Mario Maker 2 has the worst online I've ever witnessed in any video game. I mean, are you looking at the screen right now? How is this even playable? And it's not like it only pops up once in a blue moon. No, it's almost every single level you play, the game becomes a literal snail. This is dog shit. And the worst part is that you have to pay for it. Like, are you, that's just a slap in the face. Mario Maker 2 online left such a shit shit taste in my mouth and I couldn't even be bothered with it anymore. I mean, can you blame me? What a laughable comedic joke. Nintendo, get your shit together. If you have been watching my videos lately, you would know that I love myself a good quality 3D platformer, Spyro, Crash, Banjo-Kazooie, you name it. So it really comes to no surprise that I absolutely adore the 3D Mario games. They are just such a blast to play and nothing has really topped them ever since. So a few months ago, there were rumors floating around of a 3D Mario collection, which I was really excited for. Finally, I was able to play these games on the Switch. A few months later, and the rumors turned out to be true because Nintendo announces Mario 3D All-Stars, a collection of three 3D Mario platformers. That's a lot of three. Three, 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 three. Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, and Mario Galaxy. Again, I was really excited because I absolutely love these games and I thought they were gonna make a cool little collection out of it. You know, the thing you should do for a 35th anniversary. But you know what they did? Well, let's just boot up the game and see, alright? They did nothing! Three games older than 10 years put into an emulator sold for 60 bucks with some extra soundtracks that you can find for free on YouTube. That's it. What you see is literally what you get. At least give me some official renders that I can actually inspect or trailers, concept art, cheat codes. Give me something. At least try to enhance the games. It comes over as a lazy cash grab. The games are great, don't get me wrong. They are a lot of fun to play, but I expect more from Nintendo. If you compare this to Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy or Spyro Reignited Trilogy, this game stands no chance. These are three remastered gain for 40 bucks each, not 3 ports for 60. This is pathetic. And the worst part is that you can't buy it anymore after March 31st. 
why might as well flip off your customers because that's literally what you're doing in conclusion buy rare replay since this collection is really good Why? Just why, Nintendo? So in this game, they made it so that you can only have one island on your Switch. So if you want to have a fresh start, you have to either delete your save that you probably spent like 180 hours on, or buy another Switch. No wonder this game sold so well. This is such a shitty business practice and just a giant obstacle that's there for no other reason than to piss you off. As someone that has his Switch completely to himself, it's not a big problem. But if you have to share it with a sister, a brother, or I don't know, an alien, then it becomes a problem because you can't have your own personal island. You need to share it. Or, now, now hear me out, okay? You, you buy another Switch. Go to hell, Nintendo. It comes over as extremely greedy and I think think it's a really anti-consumer thing to add to your game but money speaks you know everyone likes the dollar also for the love of god add a bulk crafting to this game jesus christ <laughs> I just think this game is really poopy. For real, you one hit every single Pokemon in existence. There's no challenge. The models have been reused multiple times. It's just lazy. They even straight up lied to their consumers about redoing all the models from scratch, which is just abysmal for a game like this. Half of the Pokemon aren't even in this. The animations are awful. And don't even get me started on the trees. This is not a tree. I'm not a fan of it. So I'm putting it in quadruple S tier because I don't know how to review games. So I, I'm brain dead. These are the four main examples that have really grinded my gears in the last year or so. And I've only mentioned things they did with their games, by the way. Recently, they have made some really crappy decisions to quote-unquote protect their IPs. You're not protecting shit, Nintendo. You're starting a fight with your own community for literally no reason at all. These are people who want to support you, who want to see you succeed. But you're literally stabbing them in the back. I know that Nintendo can do better and they have in the past. Their content guidelines update was a big step in the right direction, but the rest is just a big leap backwards. I absolutely love Nintendo. I grew up with Mario, Mario, Pokemon and Zelda, but the Nintendo magic is fading away if they continue down this road and eventually the dam will break. So please fix your shit Nintendo and also make Mario Odyssey 2. It's been like three years. Come on. Oh.